Okay, guys, so this is the uh, um, last pack that I have. Last five pack or nine pack, I should say. <laughs> uh, we finished up the five packs a couple days ago. Had three of these nine packs. This is the last one. All right, I'm seeing a couple cars I haven't seen for a while here. Got the stupid shark car that I've never really cared for. Uh, let's see, the, the Corvette here is a, a slightly different than the old casting, uh, which I'll get into later on. We have the new generation twin mill, which uh, most of these you can find in single packs, except for this one. This is the uh, exclusive here in this nine pack. Uh, which appears to be a Dodge Challenger. So I'm going to open this up and uh, we're going to check it out here. Alright, let's start with the exclusive car. That's what I always like to do. Let's gather our lighting here. All right, this is, what year is this? This is a 2008 Dodge Challenger. I'm thinking that they didn't put enough paint on this or something because I'm seeing a lot of defects in this paint here. You can see the metal through it. The whole car, really, the paint just didn't lay right on the car, I don't think. It's not textured funny. I mean, you can't feel any of that. But I really... It looks textured. I, 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 yeah, there you go. It's showing up on the camera now. It looks textured. It's not really... It didn't really adhere to the, the car very well, I don't think. But aside from that, it's a really nice looking car. I like the black uh, decals on it with the, the red around the edges of the rims. Looks really good. Uh, I don't know if it's showing up on the camera or not. It says Dodge back here. It's showing up. It's just not focusing. There it is. Got a Hot Wheels logo down here. It's got a black interior, so it probably won't show up very well. Oh, there you go. Okay, then we have the Corvette here. Now... This is the original Corvette casting, and from the front, you can see they are fairly similar. They, granted, they're different, but they're fairly similar. Until you get to the back. See, this is more wedge-shaped, and this is flat. Uh, the dome back window here versus the uh, flat back window on the original one. This is a 75. This is anywhere from a 78 to a, what would this be? A 82 was the last year they they had this body style, I think. So this must be about an 82. Reason I say that is how flat this is back here. I mean, you can see you can really see the difference between the old one and the new one. So it's not the same casting as this. Still a really, really cool car. I love the uh, retro slots wheels. That's what Hot Wheels calls these wheels. They used to use these wheels on the Cool Classic series. Well, they discontinued that series, so it's nice to see these wheels on something. Um, also, this is an 80s font for Corvette. Uh, you can see uh, the two different fonts there. This is more of the 70s font versus the 80s font. Uh, that's not just on these two cars specifically that is uh in general that's how they um did this car the base is also very very different um now you can see they came out with this in 75 and it, it reads corvette stingray on the bottom this does not say anywhere you wouldn't know what on earth this was from except for we have a gm uh licensing copyright thing right here but if that wasn't there you wouldn't know what this base was off of uh, we have 75 here 
and comma 2012 they must have brought this back out in two, two, yeah, 2012 um hot wheels says this is 75 but this is not a 75 vet uh by any means looking at the back of it here um but um regardless of their copyright thing trying to bring it back and using a different different year anyway it's still a really cool car i love that blue color uh it goes really nice with the retro slots wheels now there is no interior in the uh in this car you can see right where that axle's connected to the uh chassis there and there's there's no interior in there in the old one they used the windows uh the windows in the interior was all one big blue piece of plastic Uh, all right, so got the exclusive and got my favorite out of the way. This is Twin Mill Generation E, which I believe, if you didn't call it Gen E, this would be the Twin Mill number four. Twin Mill is a very popular car from Hot Wheels. I don't. I can't say I dislike this. I like it in this color. The first color they came out with the Gen E Twin Mill in, I think, was kind of a turquoise blue. And it was a pretty color, but I don't think it suited this car. I think this uh, red, satin red here um, suits the car better. Uh, it's kind of got a Spectra, fr fr uh, Spectra Frost uh, paint job on it, which is another... Uh, throwback to the uh, cool classic series. Got these wheels and got Spectra Frost paint there. I don't know if that's what this is, but it's similar to it. It may just be a matte paint job. But anyway, uh, it does read Hot Wheels Twin Mill Gen E on the, the hood there. Also on the, uh, the bottom there. Um... I haven't seen this one in a single yet, but I've seen this one in a single pack. I think I have this in a single pack. As well as the pink car here for the Olympics. Uh, I don't have the Corvette, but I've seen it. This court, the new Corvette here, I've seen in a single pack. As well as this BMW here. Uh, I'd like to see this in a single pack. I have not yet. And then, of course, this was an exclusive. But I do know this one you can get in a single pack because I have one. Got the kind of blade-like wheels on there. Not my favorite twin mill, but I'm probably my favorite twin mill still the original one. But uh, the second one I like pretty well too, the twin mill two. Uh, let's see, go to row number two here. We have I forget the name of this high beam. That's what the name of this car is, because it's got a lot of lights on it. All right, this is the Tokyo Olympics uh, artistic gymnastics car. Um, this one you can also get in a single pack, as I mentioned. I know that because I have one of these. I don't have one open, though, so it's kind of nice to have this one. Tokyo Olympics 2020. Or there's the Olympics there. Got a sort of carbon fiber look to the top there. That's the best thing I can come up with that that looks like. It's got an interior in it. I don't know if it's going to show up, but it's got one in there. It's an interesting car for sure. Definitely a fantasy car, but... It's not a bad looking car. They, uh, they've definitely made worse looking cars. I'll say, I'll tell you that. Uh, there's that one. All right, we got this cool one here, which right off hand I don't recognize. I may not have. That's from two thousand one. This is called Midnight Auto. No, I do not believe I have this. I don't remember that name. How, how, this is this car's been out since two thousand one. And it's 2020. I just now have the have one. That's really surprising because I have a whole bunch of Hot Wheels, especially from the early 2000s. That's surprising, but 
I can't say I've really seen this one too much. Um, it's similar to the uh, Ford Victoria that they uh, they had the old old one. I can't think of the years. It's a '30s car. Obviously, this is as well, but um, it's not quite what it is. I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, a highly modified Model A. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is either, but whatever, whatever it is, is a really cool car. Some nice looking flames on there with the Hot Wheels logo down there. It's got red side pipes on it. Got some louvers in the in the hood there, on the top of the hood as well. Not much on the back. It's got round. Little tail lights in there, and that's about it. Yeah, this one's called Midnight Auto, which is not, uh, like I mentioned, not one I'm familiar with. That looks like a good hook to hook onto one of the Hot Wheels tow trucks. I know they did that for this little box up here, but it sure looks like something to hook in with the tow truck. This one here, I've, I'm not familiar with either, but I assume it's called Driftsta 2. Oh, just drifts, drift stuff. I was thinking Drifsta was a different car, but apparently not, because I remember that name. But I was thinking it was different. I don't know what car I'm thinking of. It's a very flat car. It's not very tall at all. It's got some interesting looking headlights, almost like the new Camaro headlights. Which is not something I would be proud of. <laughs> um, I don't care for the new ones. But uh, I don't know what's, what all's going on back here. Got some little bitty tail lights there. Possibly that's what those are. See those little slashes in there? Could be tail lights. It's got an interior in it and it's right hand drive. LWC Racing, it says, right there. It's got our luggage rack on the top of it. And it does wheelies. Alright, switching to the modern Corvette here. Is that a 14? 16. This is the Corvette C7 Z06. Pretty cool one here. It's got the Corvette logo or emblem or whatever you want to call it. Got the got the headlights painted in there. It's got the tail lights painted in there, although they're silver instead of red, but they're there. And then with the Corvette badging on the uh, back there as well. Nice black top in it. Looks nice. Having been in one of these before, I must say, from what I can see of the interior, that may not focus for the camera, no, but from what I can see, it looks somewhat accurate, looks pretty accurate to me, I was only in it once, but looks pretty accurate. Let's see here. It's a BMW police car. This reads Polizei, which would be European, I believe. BMW M3 is what this is. We have a number back here, W8303. And a Hot Wheels emblem. I like the white on the rims. Or maybe it's got really thin white wall tires. I don't know. But either way, looks really nice with the white uh, white car. looks nice. It's got a BMW logo emblem on the hood. Pretty detailed grill there. It reads Polizei, but it's got a left-hand steering.
or uh, so something's across the pond from where it's supposed to be, and I don't know if it's the police eye or the the left hand steering, but one more here. What what's this shark? It's not Sharknado. What is this called? The shark Shark Cruiser. That's what this is called. Significantly lighter than the original one. And the original one I have right here is kind of dirty. I got this at a junkyard uh, in a big barrel of Hot Wheels. Uh, the original one is from 19... Or they came out with it in 1986, I believe that's what that says. 1986. I didn't realize this casting was that old. But at that time, this was all die cast. And f for it being one of the dumber Hot Wheels cast uh, castings, it's got some weight to it. Then you hold this new one, and you're like, there's no way that's the same car. This weighs so much more than this just by having the metal base and the metal fin on the back of it here. I still think it's a stupid car, but other than my opinion here, or I guess like my opinion, I don't think anything else has changed other than it not having a metal base. It looks like it still says Shark V8 on the side of the engine there. That was one thing I liked about it. It's not showing up too good on that chrome. Let me show you the gold one here on the gold one. You can see it says Shark V8. It does it does read that here. It looks like it's maybe a little smaller. And it's not focusing very good. If the camera would focus, well you can at least see the V8 down on the bottom. It does say Shark. Shark V8. I don't know why the camera's geeking out here, but we have Okay, we have the shark eyes on the shark, but then on this face thing here, we have eyes here and a mouth. And then another set of eyes, like a a totem pole, a really strange totem pole on the top of this car. This one's from the track aces. This is an old one. Like I mentioned, this is an old one. Um, I haven't even dropped it yet, and the fin's chipped. The old one went through the junkyard and the top fin the top fin's not chipped. How how can that be? It's got faster than ever wheels. That's what these wheels are called. They are green. Yeah. Okay, came back out with it in 2011. They first came out with it in 86. I'm not sure why they made it or why they came back out with it. It's not my favorite casting, but here it is. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. That's going to be the last uh, package. I don't want to say a package video, but uh, I don't know what else to call it. Last nine pack video, definitely. Uh, we're out of five packs, too. So I hope you guys enjoyed these. Um, I know it's kind of different, but. I don't usually do each set uh, individually, but I thought I'm going to try that and see how those do on the internet. Uh, some people like them, and some people weren't very happy with them. But however you feel about them, like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video. Um, I have some videos to post, and they're not anything related to the cars. So, uh... I'll catch you in the next video.